Assalamu alaikum dear students we are going to start with poem number 6 a sindhi woman this poem is by jan stallworthy barefoot through the bazaar and with the same undulant grace as the cloth blown back from her face she glides with a stone jar high on her head and not a ripple in her tread watching her cross erect stones garbage excrement and crumbs of glass in the karachi slums i with my stoop reflect this stand most straight who learn to walk beneath a weight so this poem is actually a tribute to the working class in this poem tribute has been given to particularly a sindhi woman who belongs to the laborer class the working class to the extremely poverty stricken class the very first two words barefoot they indicate her poverty Uh, her we can say extreme uh, deprivation that she is so poor that she cannot even afford to buy slippers or shoes and she is walking through the bazaar but she is walking with an undulant grace undulant means uh, wave like grace is gait uh, being barefoot doesn't hinder with her, with her movement she can move uh in uh, you can say uh, with the same uh, wave like grace undulant is wave like wave like motion or wave like gait uh, even when she is barefooted so this indicates that she is accustomed to being barefooted and she is accustomed to facing hardships as the cloth blown back from her face this poem is of karachi and uh, the wind often blows in karachi and the cloth is blown back from her face because of the wind she glides with a stone jar she is holding a stone jar high up on her head she glides glides means to move smoothly and the stone jar is symbolizes hardships it symbolizes troubles difficulties hard work you can say uh, and the labor that she has to undergo uh, and not a ripple in her tread and although she is barefooted she is holding weight a heavy stone jar on her head yet there is not a ripple in her tread ripple means disturbance and tread is walk watching her cross erect erect is straight so nange paon hai wo bazaar se guzar rahi hai karachi ke aur ek undulant grace ke sath hai undulant is wave like motion ke sath or uh, and she can she glides moves glides means to move smoothly with a heavy stone jar high on her head aur uske chalne mein koi ripple nahi hai ripple means disturbance and tread means walk watching her cross erect erect is straight stones garbage excrement and crumbs of glass in the karachi slums and the poet is watching her cross straight through uh, you can say all the garbage sare uh, stones ke patthron ke upar se guzari hai barefooted through garbage through extreme and crumbs or ye extremely poverty stricken area half glass or patni shishe toote hue shishe ke tukdon ke upar se she is walking in the karachi slums slums are extremely poor poor areas poverty stricken underdeveloped areas jahan bahut garib log jhuggiyon mein samjhe raha rehte hain so she is watching walk, walk, walking through such a place and the poet who is watching her uh, walk through all this is thinking i with my stoop reflect i is over here the poet and the poet is thinking that i with my bent back bent stoop over here means bent reflect means think uh, so the poet with his bent back is thinking that they stand most straight who learn to walk beneath the weight the people uh, who carry weight uh, who get, face the hardships of life who do physical labor tough tenacious work they learn to walk straight in short ki jo log saktiyan bardasht karna seekh lete hain life mein beneath means under jo log wazan uthate hain hardships face karte hain life ki physical labor karte hain they actually become more strong they actually become more physically fit so the poem is actually a tribute to hard work labor and to the working class but particularly it is to the working class women the sindhi women here represents the all the working class women 
uh, who uh, face a lot of hardships and difficulties yet they are accustomed to these hardships and they do their all uh, all their works very smoothly so iski aapne ek to theme central idea iska prepare karna hai iska message messages about you can say the importance of hard work ke hard work effort it and physical labor uh, this is something which makes us strong in fact and the poet has appreciated all the laboring class and the working class people uh, who work hard day and night uh, and their lives are not easy uh, and in fact the poet is thinking that i who have a bent back and the poet says ke itni physical labor poet ne nahi kiya hai uski life jis tarah rahi hai he is not physically strong so he is comparing himself with the uh, woman थीम आप लोग इसकी हर पोएम की आपने थीम प्रिपेयर करनी है वैसे तो इसकी एक सेंट्रल आइडिया और छोटी सी थीम जो है वो आपने टू मार्क्स के ही क्योंकि आपके क्वेश्चन होते हैं सो उस हिसाब से इसको आपने प्रिपेयर करना और ये बुक की जो थीम है दिस इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट कि इसको भी आप ज़रूर पढ़ा करें दिस पोएम इज़ अ ट्रिब्यूट टू अ वर्किंग वुमेन वर्क क्रिएट्स रिदम इन लाइफ Work keeps a person strong and vigilant. Vigilant means active. An idle person, idle, lazy, one who is doing nothing, will soon decay. Decay is to deteriorate. This poem also portrays realistically the slums of Karachi in a few words. Slums ka meaning aapko clear ho gaya hoga. Slums means ghettos, extremely poverty-stricken areas, underdeveloped areas where there are no facilities. Uh, of you can say um, no modern facilities like facility of electricity gas and water and etc the poet praises and appreciates the working woman who has practically turned her work into an art the woman walks softly with the delicacy and rhythm of a dancer's feet paraphrase be is quite important A Sindhi woman is going through a bazaar with bare feet. Bare feet is naked feet, without any shoes, without any slippers. She is walking impressively, and there is a rhythm in her movement which she can, which can be seen in her swaying body. Swaying is moving to and fro and floating dress. The wind pushes the cloth from her face. She is carrying a stone jar on her head. She walks as smoothly as the wave of a stream. She is passing through stones, garbage, pieces of bread, and the broken glass. So this is the scene of Karachi slum. The poet meditates. Meditates means to think, reflect, and sees his own body that is bent by time. So as I told, कि यहाँ पे वो अपनी झुकी हुई कमर, झुकी हुई body को देख के इस औरत से compare कर रहा है और सोचता है कि he observes that only those who bear the burden of life, के जो लोग वजन उठाना सीखते हैं, hardships face करना सीखते हैं. हार्ड वर्क करते हैं लाइफ में फिजिकल लेबर करते हैं एंड कैरी इट्स हार्डशिप्स थ्रू लाइफ आर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड स्ट्रेट वो लोग ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाते हैं दे आर मोर फिजिकली फिट एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग सो दिस पोएम इज अ क्रिटिसिज्म ऑन आइडल पीपल इनफैक्ट कि जो लोग आइडल बैठे रहते हैं इनफैक्ट वो उनकी बॉडी जो है वो ग्रेजुअली डिके कर जाती है राइमिंग वर्ड्स आपको Uh, you know it. We have been doing in class. So this is not difficult. Phase, grace, race. So, ये rhyming words के ऊपर है. M C Qs आपको आते हैं. One one mark के. And you can easily find the answers. The woman in the bazaar. Who uh, poem was passing through the bazaar, and she was carrying a stone jar. Or and those who carry weight stand straight. Her walk was smooth. True false. You can easily do it. and i am seeing ki iske koi questions nahi hai so as i told in class also ki book ki back pe nahi bhi hai questions to wo poem ke beech beech mein se aa jayenge uh, for example uh, question aap likhe draw a sketch of the sindhi woman character sketch i mean ki aap uske bare mein likhe ki what do you know about the sindhi woman of two marks it should be of three to four lines with correct english uh, एक क्वेश्चन आप इसका लिखें बॉर्ड एंड देन राइट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ व्हाट इज द मॉरल मैसेज इन द पोएम अ सिंधी वुमेन ठीक है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हो गया ड्रॉ कैरेक्टर स्केच ऑफ द वुमेन इन द पोएम अ सिंधी वुमेन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू आप लिखें व्हाट इज द मॉरल मैसेज कन्वेड इन द पोएम 
सिंधी वुमेन थ्री क्वेश्चन लिखी वॉट काइंड ऑफ हर्डल्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ एरियाज इज शी पासिंग थ्रू शी इज़ पासिंग थ्रू द बाजार एंड शी इज़ फॉर पासिंग थ्रू एक्सट्रीमली पॉवर्टी स्ट्रिक इन एरियाज शी इज़ पासिंग थ्रू गार्बेज स्टोन एक्सट्रीमेंट क्रम्स एंड ग्लास इन द कराची स्लम्स सो क्वेश्चन आ सकता है वट आर स्लम एरियाज स्लम एरियाज की एक आपको बताया कि दे आर गैटोज दे आर यू कैन से एक्सट्रीमली पॉवर्टी स्ट्रिक इन एरियाज उसको एक्सप्लेन करना होगा गैटो को एंड देन दीज टू लाइन्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू रेफरेंस टू द कॉन्टेक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल दिस टैंड मोस्ट डिरेक्ट स्ट्रेट हु लर्न टू वॉक बी नीत वेट सो इनको आप अंडरलाइन कर लें एंड इनका रेफरेंस टू द कॉन्टेक्स स्पेसिफिकली इनका प्रिपेयर करें रेफरेंस मैंने आपको बताया आप लिखते हैं द गिवन लाइन्स हैव बीन टेकन फ्राम द पोएम आ सिंधी वुमेन इन्वर्टेड कॉमर्स ठीक है यहाँ पे जैसे अगर आप डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमर्स यहाँ स्टार्ट करें यहीं पे क्लोज भी करें आ को दा नहीं करना आ सिंधी वुमेन और पोइट या पोइटस जिसका भी नाम आप लिखें उसकी स्पेलिंग्स याद कर लें स्पेलिंग्स गलत करने के मार्क्स कटेंगे सो रेफरेंस में इन दो चीज़ों का ख्याल रखें कॉन्टेक्स्ट में आप लाइन्स का पिछला कॉन्टेक्स्ट और अगला कॉन्टेक्स्ट बताते हैं कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज़ लाइक उर्दू में जिसको कहते हैं सैको सबाक सो वी विल एक्सप्लेन इट इट कैन बी द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पोएम इन अ वेरी फ्यू लाइन्स सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ द पोएम इन फैक्ट थोड़ी सी थीम क्या नहीं लेकिन बेसिकली कॉन्टेक्स्ट मीन्स कि वो जो गिवन लाइन्स हैं उनसे थोड़ा सा पीछे जो हो रहा है और आगे जो हो रहा है वो बताते हैं लेकिन ये बिल्कुल एंड की लाइन्स है इसीलिए आप से पीछे जो कुछ हो रहा है पोएम में वो ब्रीफली आप फाइव फोर फाइव लाइन्स में बताएंगे एंड देन यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दीज लाइन्स इन डिटेल के फिज़िकल लेबर को इसमें अप्रिशिएट किया है और टफ लोगों की इसमें बात बताई कि द पीपल हु आर टफ एंड हु कैरी वेट एंड डू फिजिकल लेबर दे बिकम इनफैक्ट मोर फिजिकली स्ट्रॉन्ग सो दिस इज़ हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डू आई हैव एक्सप्लेन बिफोर एज वेल अबाउट रेफरेंस टू द कॉन्टेक्सट एंड द क्वेश्चन आंसर आई टोल्ड बिफोर वो बीच में से आ जाते हैं सो यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द टेक्सट केयरफुली शनि we will meet in the next lecture again